it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So today I am back with a Primark haul. I actually went in there the day that it opened and they had so many good bits in there for autumn winter. So of course I had to pick up some stuff and do a haul for you guys. So the first item I picked up was this grey roll neck tattoo neck jumper. And this was actually in the sale. This was down to £5 from £13 so I picked it up in a size extra large um, this was actually the only one left so I didn't really have a choice in the sizing but I just thought I could maybe wear this as a dress if it's long enough or with some cycling shorts with some leather trousers I just thought there was loads of different ways I could wear this so this is what the jumper looks like on I think it makes such a cute dress the only slight issue I have is that it does have these little slits and then the armhole does drop quite a lot so I've just kept on um, a bodysuit underneath this but I don't know I think this is so cute it was only five pounds which I just think is such a bargain like I cannot get my head around the prices of some of this stuff but yeah I don't know I've just not seen any jumper dresses like this one and I think it looks really cool this would like maybe like a leather jacket would look really cool or maybe even a fedora hat would be such a cool look so this next item I actually picked up just before we went into the last lockdown but they have still got it in there because I saw it the other day but it's just this black high neck cozy knit jumper I also picked this one up in a large because I want it to be oversized and I believe this was £12 it might be in the sale now I can't remember but yeah this was £12 so again another bargain and an absolute staple for your autumn winter wardrobe I've worn this with jeans leather trousers my leather shorts and literally wear it with so many different things so yeah this is honestly something that I'm living in at the moment this is what the jumper looks like on it's got these little slits on either side which I think is really nice little detail but yeah love this super cozy and just such a staple I don't know what it is, but every autumn winter about this time of year, I always really want some kind of cobalt blue jumper top. I don't know. I just have a real want for them. So when I saw this, of course, I had to pick it up. It's got this really nice, like, soft ribbed fabric, and I picked it up in a size extra small so it would be nice and fitted. And this one was six pounds they literally had this in so many different colors i almost picked up a couple more but i thought i'll just get this one for now see if i like the fit and then maybe i'll go back and pick up some more i absolutely love this top the color is gorgeous and it fits so nicely i think it's so flattering i love this like like the shape of the collar and it's honestly just like so soft and comfy i i i like loss for words i love this top and it's only six pounds i am honestly just like obsessed with this color i do not want to take this top off this could actually be my favorite item of the whole haul and how cute does this look with the leather shorts this is such a cute outfit oh my god i love it clearly i've got some kind of theme going on because the next item that i picked up is another roll neck turtleneck jumper it's just this really bright christmasy red and it's got this really nice kind of knit kind of rib look to it. So Hattie Bourne on Instagram was actually my inspo for this. The other day she had a gorgeous red jumper on, I think from Topshop, and when I saw this, it just reminded me of it, so I had to pick it up. I just thought this would look really cute and festive with a little red lip. I'm sorry, but how cute is this jumper? It is just like screaming Christmas festivities. I love it. I think the colour goes really nicely with these jeans as well, but I feel like I could even wear it with like my leather shorts, my leather trousers. Oh, and how good would this look with a red lip? The next item that I picked up was actually some jeans. Now, I have never tried Primark jeans before, but I always see people raving about them, so I thought I'd give them a go. So I picked up the straight high waist jeans. They got these in like a really nice washed denim, and they've actually got some rips in the knees as well. Again, I've never had ripped jeans before, so I thought I would try these out as well. These actually, again, feel really good quality. They feel really kind of like a thick, like strong denim. I don't know if that makes any sense, but they feel really good quality. They do actually feel just like my ones from Topshop, so... I've got high hopes for these. Obviously, as we are now out of lockdown, we're in tier two here, so I have to stop living in my joggers and actually leave the house a little bit so some new jeans were needed. How much were these ones? These ones were only £17. For a good pair of jeans, that's actually just like unbelievable. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly tilt the camera down so you guys can see the jeans properly. I'm honestly in shock. Primark is doing some like amazing bits right now i actually like love these jeans they are so flattering especially like on the bum and i really like the rips they are the perfect length for me i don't know how i'm going to show you this but i am five three and a half and they literally cut just above my ankles they are literally at like, the perfect length for me 
and they are just so like such good quality and they look so nice they literally look like they could be the top shop mum jeans and how much did i say they were 17 pounds you guys that's amazing i also picked up these kind of like khaki olive sage coloured kind of cargo pants these are in a jogger style so if i'm leaving the house and don't want to put on my jeans but still want to be comfy i can pop these on these are going to be so comfy and i love that they've got a little cuffed um i was going to say sleeve cuffed bottom what the hell do you got? they've got a cuff at the bottom um and they've got a little drawstring there and these were actually also in the sale i picked these up for five pounds they were down from i think 50 does that say five pounds down from 13. i had to pick them up in a size eight because they had very limited sizes so obviously these are going quickly but yeah i just thought these would be so cute and so comfy i'm actually really sad so i've just put these on and realized that this bit is actually broken so <laughs> these are gonna have to go back but this aside i mean Maybe I could just pull the other one out. Maybe if I just like tuck it in, pretend that it's not there for now. But yeah, I actually really like these. I'm really gutted about that because these are so nice. They're really flattering. They're really great length. Again, perfect length for me, just above the ankle. And I really love the colour. You guys know that I'm obsessed with this sagey olive green colour. So that, honestly, like these are right up my street. So yeah, I'm really disappointed about this little bit here because I didn't know what to do about these because they were only £5, which is such a bargain. But... Is it worth it? They are like, they're such a nice, like lightweight, comfy material as well. What a dilemma. Moving on to loungewear, I've literally picked up the softest pair of joggers I think I have ever felt in my entire life. These are so cozy and soft. I honestly, I'm so excited to wear these. I picked these up in a size extra small and these were 13 pounds. It does actually say matching items available, which I did not see when I was in there. So I'm really upset about that because I'm matching like jumper or hoodie or even like a little fluffy like vest top kind of thing would be it's so cute with this. So I might have to go back and try and find that because that would be such a nice little set. But yeah, they've got this really nice kind of drawstring bit here. They've got this pocket detail on the side. It's not actually a pocket, but it's kind of giving it that like utility vibe um but yeah honestly i'm so excited to wear these i've been waiting to wear these until i film this all now that i filmed it i might have to put these on afterwards i'm not gonna lie i actually never want to take these off these are the softest and like coziest like trousers like i have ever felt all i actually have to say about these is just like wow these are unbelievably soft i love the detailing here it makes them look a bit more kind of like dressed up for a bit of like a lounge red joggery legging thing they're really flattering as well and yeah i love these i honestly you're not going to get me out of these so on the subject of soft comfies i also picked up this really cute little pajama set i picked this up in the red print with the little white stars but they literally i think they have like eight to ten other different versions of this they've got them lilac pink navy grey i think there's a beige one there's literally so many of them and i really want to go buy them all but i'm trying to be sensible because it's christmas time and i usually get at least one pair of pajamas at christmas so i'm trying to restrain myself from buying too many pairs of comfy pjs at the moment because i usually get some for christmas um but yeah i couldn't resist these ones i believe these were 10 pounds for the set 10 or 12 pounds so i have already worn them this was again something i bought before lockdown but they are still in there um so yeah i think 10 or 12 pounds for these which is such a good price for this like just like the coziest set ever i don't know if you can see that but it's kind of like it's like blanket material it is so comfy these are honestly just like the coziest thing ever if you're struggling to find somebody like a little christmas present if you've got secret santa head on over to the pajama section because they have got some real goodies in there so this is what the pjs look like on they definitely aren't like a sexy vibes pj but comfort is key when you're chilling so i absolutely love these i wear these non-stop when i have to put these in the wash i'm actually sad but yeah there's nothing better after like a long day at work bear in mind i do actually work from home most days of the week but anyway i finish work i go upstairs i put my pjs on and it's just like the best feeling like i said they have these in so many colors and i am seriously resisting the urge to go and buy some more because like i said i live in these and I could actually really do a few more hairs of them, but I'm holding out for Christmas. Why have I gone blurry? Thank you. So yeah, like I said, they've got so many colours of these, and I'm really, really, really resisting buying them, but I'm holding out for Christmas. I'm going to be good, even though I would really like them in a few more colours. So Mum, Tommy, if you're listening, struggling for some Christmas presents, these are another colour, size 6 to 8. <laughs> 
actually a pair of leggings. So I've been trying to get my hands on the Zara ribbed grey leggings that everybody seems to have and I couldn't get them. So when I was in the tight section, I spotted these and I thought I'd pick them up. They're these really thick grey ribbed um, leggings. They're really cozy and they've actually got like a fluffy bit on the inside as well, which is really nice. But yeah, these were £3.50 and I got them in a the size small slash medium. So these are what the leggings look like on. I really don't know how well you can see these, but I've just paired it with this oversized grey hoodie. This is from PRT, but I love the two kind of grey tones together. One thing I will just say about these leggings that's definitely worth noting, if you're going to maybe go for them over the Zara ones, which are a little bit more expensive, is that they actually only go up, I don't know if you can see that, but the rib bit only goes up to about there, and then it's just kind of plain. So it's like when you have tights on. And there's that line, it's the same kind of thing. So if you wanted to wear it with anything that's not like down to here, it's oversized, you'd probably look a little bit weird. Um, so that's what I kind of wish I'd have noticed before I bought them, but never mind. But yeah, even if I do just wear them around the house, they are so, so cozy and like fluffy on the inside. They're so warm. So yeah. The next item I've got to show you is some tights. Now I have already worn these because I got them just before we went into lockdown, but I saw them in there again the other day, so they still have them, so I am gonna show you guys. Um, but I have lost the box, so I'm gonna have to try and make do. <laughs> so yeah, the next item I picked up are these spotty tights. They have also got some with the slightly smaller spots as well, and I think these were only two pounds, 250, something like that. But I just thought they were really cute, just something like to jazz up and all like black or a plain outfit, they're just a little bit different and I thought they were fun so yeah I picked those up. I actually posted a pic of me wearing them on my Instagram quite a while ago now so I'll pop that up on here now so you guys can see what they look like. And then the last thing that I picked up is this really cute little baby pink beanie. This was £1.50 and it's made using recycled material which I love so yeah I just thought this was really cute. I mean like a soft cosy beanie is just like an essential in autumn winter so this was a no brainer. This is what it looks like on, obviously I've not put it on very well because I can't really see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was really cute. Ignore the tag at the back. Um, but yeah, I always just get like plain, like black beanies, grey beanies. So I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and get a cute little pink one. So that was everything that I picked up in Primark. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye.